In this video, we're gonna take a look at some drop two chord voicings for the piano. Hey, it's Paul Toby here from jazzmental.com. Thanks for joining me for another one of my tutorials. The drop two voicings are important for a couple of reasons. The first one is if you want to make nice chords underneath a melody, in other words, put a chord under each note of the melody, this is a good system to use. And also if you're doing arranging, for example, you've got four or more instruments and you want to assign different notes to each player. So what we're gonna do first is take a look at a simple drop two explanation. Then we're gonna move on from there and apply it to a C major scale. Next, we're gonna take a look at applying it to a sixth diminished scale, which is a really important arranging technique. And that's where you're gonna get the most benefit from drop two voicings. And finally, we're gonna apply it to the tune Autumn Leaves, and I've written out an entire arrangement of drop two voicings for Autumn Leaves. And after I'm done playing it, I'll give you a link to download the sheet music. Okay, let's dive in and get started. All right, let's first take a look at a simple drop two voicing. This is a C major seventh chord. It is in root position. The notes from top to bottom are numbered one, two, three, and four. Like any voicing, D minor seventh, the top note is one, then two, three, and four. So drop two simply means to take the second note of the chord, which is this one, and put it down an octave and play it with the other hand. So again, with D minor seventh, take the second note and put it at the bottom. E minor seventh. And if you do that, your chords start sounding like this. Now that sounds great and everything, but that's not the most standard use of a drop two voicing. When we're using drop two voicings, we're usually using them to reharmonize or add chords to melody notes. And the best way to do that is to utilize what I call the sixth diminished scale. Well, it's actually not what I call it, it's what everyone calls it. In C major, this would be a C sixth chord. So instead of a major seventh, it's a C six. If it were a minor six, it would be this. And so if you have a C sixth diminished scale or a C major sixth diminished scale, this would be the first chord. And then every other note in the scale would be a diminished chord. So where does that come from? Well, the answer is if we look at a C chord itself and we go to the dominant of C, it would be a G or a G7 chord. Okay, so C6 and then the dominant seventh is G7. If you put a flat nine on top of that, you get a G7 flat nine chord. And that's where our diminished chord comes from. It comes from the five, four, three, two of that chord. Five, four, three, two. Throw out the root and you have a B diminished seventh chord. What that does is it adds an extra note to the scale, which is A flat, the only note that's outside of a C major scale. So if this is the C major scale, we add an A flat to that, we get this. Which is great for arranging because now it evens things out. So then you have a C6 to begin the scale, then a diminished chord built on the G7 flat nine, C6. You can see now it's over E and then G7 flat nine, C6. Now, 
And this becomes really interesting for arranging because now we can use our drop two voicing and take the second note, which is the G, and throw that down in the bass. Those are actually really nice voicings. So for example, in a song, if we had a C chord for a couple of bars and there was melody notes going through there, so where those melody notes fall in the scale is where you actually would choose between a C sixth chord and a B diminished chord or a G seven flat nine chord as it were. So if our melody was this, The first chord would be a C sixth. Second chord, B diminished. And that's how arranging works. And drop twos are very important because they separate the notes more, making it less of a cluster. So for example, if you have saxophones playing the higher end, trombones might be playing the note in the bottom. Once you understand all of that, then you can start approaching tunes like Autumn Leaves. And what I've done here is rearrange the melody based on the chords that are coming up. Now, it's not always a perfect science, so there are sometimes notes that fall outside of the scale, but for the most part, it works out just fine. So since there's no chord written here, but we're approaching A minor seven, think of this like an E7 flat nine chord. So the first chord would be E7 over D, right? If it was E7, it'd be just this, but we're taking the second note and putting it down in the bass. Next chord is a diminished chord. So E flat diminished. And then the next chord is another diminished chord because it doesn't really fit the scale to use any other chord. And then we're getting to our A minor sixth chord. Dropping down to the D7 chord, then a diminished, and then D7 to G major sixth. Dropping down to C major, So the rules are, if it falls in the scale of the major sixth or minor sixth, then use the sixth diminished scale for each of those. If it's a dominant seventh chord, instead of playing the sixth, play the seventh. So for example, if it's D7, you could do that, but it doesn't really sound like D7. So use D7, and then every other chord is still a diminished chord. And if the melody notes fall outside of the scale completely, then just use another diminished chord for that note. So you could have two diminished chords in a row trying to cover the actual melody. And that's really the basic rules of drop two voicings using the sixth diminished scale. What I'd like to do is play it for you on the piano. I've put together the entire melody for Autumn Leaves using drop two voicings. And then after that, I'm going to play a chorus of solo just to get you excited about the tune. And when we come back, I'll put a link to download the sheet music.
All right, so there's Autumn Leaves with drop two voicings along with a chorus of solo just to kind of get you excited about the tune. Let me put a link to the sheet music up here in the corner. That sheet music contains all of the drop two voicings that I played. And if you have any questions or comments about the material in this video, all you have to do is post it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. So a couple of things before we go. If you're over at jazzmental.com downloading that sheet music, please check out some of the other sheet music and backing track offerings that we have over there. And if you'd like to join the mailing list, we'll be notifying you of some upcoming masterclasses that we've got going on. Okay, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help the channel. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, all you have to do is hit the little bell when you subscribe and we will notify you of all of the upcoming videos that we're making. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next tutorial.